Do you know right now who's the betting favorite for this fourth combat sports meeting between Pereira and Adesanya? I don't. I'm going to say, is it Israel Adesanya? You're right. Yeah. Yep. Slightly and it makes favorite. sense. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I think it makes sense. I mean, he was masterful throughout four rounds. He was the better grappler. He took him down. He almost finished him in the first round. He was clearly the better kickboxer. However, history has shown that every time they compete, one man wins every time. And right. that has been Alex Pereira. Now, you could argue that, well, it's just an, an odds game, a numbers game, because eventually Izzy's going to win one. Because, you know, if they fight 10 times, maybe Pereira wins one. If they fight five, maybe Izzy, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe that that one, maybe that's approaching. Uh, I think for Izzy, he t he can take away a lot of a, a lot of credit to himself in that fight. He did well. He was the more technical fighter. He did get the takedowns. He was trending to win. But much like Leon Edwards in that fifth round or the end of the fourth round when Dave Lavelle said to him, come on, you got to get yeah. going. The team of Pereira, Pereira said the same thing and he went out there and that will say to him, it will echo the sentiment that if I really go for it, I can finish this guy. But I just took my time and it took me until the fifth round to really dig deep and take a risk. However, you take a risk, you walk on to shots. Zig when you should have zagged all that good stuff. So it, it's, I think Pereira is going to come out way more aggressive. I think Izzy, it wouldn't surprise me if he shoots a double leg takedown in round one because Adesanya, for all of his attributes, he is one of the most uh, coordinated people that you'll ever see. Yeah. I mean, you've seen the break dancing, you've seen the physical attributes, the things that he can do with his body is ridiculous. I can't dance. <laughs> I can't break dance. Well. And I'm not a wrestler. But I could learn how to do a double leg takedown pretty well. You know, I, I used it to great effect many times throughout my fight career. Brian Stan, I picked him up and slammed him multiple times. If I can do that, if I can learn how to do a double jab right hand, faint that, come on low, level change, grab hold of Brian Stan and pick him up and put him down, yeah. well, I'm damn sure that Israel Adesanya can. And he already showed that he was the better grappler in the first matchup in the UFC. So it's a very interesting fight.